The release of the Ombudsman's report on the G20 this week clearly indicates that security concerns are no reason to secretly suspend the civil liberties of Ontarians. The secrecy and confusion surrounding the McGuinty government's secret G20 regulation shows a complete and absolute disregard for transparent and democratic government in this province. And steps need to be taken to follow the recommendations of the Ombudsman to ensure that our civil liberties are never secretly taken away from citizens in this province again in the future. Today was the last day, the closing of the fall session of the legislature, and the Green Party has three concerns about the way in which the old parties are failing to address some important issues in this province. The first one is food issues and farming issues, which were hardly talked about in the legislature this fall. In this, coming at a time when farm incomes are at their lowest level they've been since the Great Depression, food bank use is at an all-time high, and local food processing facilities are closing all across this province. That is why the Green Party is the only political party calling for an Ontario food strategy that in, is designed to ensure that the people who grow our food receive an adequate income for doing so and also to ensure that all Ontarians have access to healthy local food. The second issue we're concerned about is what came out of the Auditor General's report last week regarding the health care sector and in particular the lack of focus and the lack of investment in quality home care and quality community care in this province which is going to be important to ensuring that we provide high quality care at an affordable price taking pressure off the hospital system in Ontario and we're also concerned that the old parties frankly aren't focused in on the kinds of policies that need to take place to prevent illness in the first place in this province. Our final concern is the way in which the government is implementing their energy policies and in particular the way in which they're imposing energy projects on communities without proper consultation and the Green Party will continue to fight with the residents of King Township to fight the ill-conceived gas plant that is being done in a way that circumvents uh, procurement process circumvents legislation and imposes a gas plant on some of the most productive farmland in this province. We don't think that's right. The Green Party is going to come forward with a green energy plan that's focused in on democratizing the energy sector and creating self-reliant communities by ensuring that green energy projects are locally owned, have local input into the planning process, and the benefits flow to our local communities. That's the way we need to move forward with our energy process.